Here I am in the wilderness. All fucking resplendent and shit. Now, over to the right you'll see some trees. Whereas over to the left, in the leftmost quadrant of the fucking image, you'll see additional trees. See, I know this because I'm kind of an expert on this topic. A man versus wild. A naked and afraid. I could list outdoor TV shows all day. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, shit. I think that was a deer once. I'm not sure if bears did this or hunters. That can't be good. Now, I know what you must be thinking. Mad scientist, aren't you afraid that skinwalkers are going to rape your tender, unassuming butthole? <laughs> of course I am, you juicy slut. But that's why I brought one of those things where you put the hurdy end into the other guy and you hold the end that's not hurdy. And of course, uh, your standard 3 watt camping laser. Yeah, take that, you little bitch. That's what you get for towering over us. Looking down on us every day. Hogging all the hippie hugs in the world to yourselves. In the ancient war between man and tree. For every drop of blood that is spilled. A gallon of sap will be spilled in return. So yeah, not too worried. Everybody knows that skinwalkers are weak to light based attacks. Besides, it's not really realistic that you're going to run into a skinwalker in the woods. It's the spider clowns you got to look out for, man. Those eight wriggling penises with the shiny red balls. <sighs> it's like famous history guy once said, there's nothing to fear but fear itself and spider clowns. Of course I'm going to bring the flamethrower because spider clowns are weak to fire-based attacks. There's got to be a better way. Designated poking finger. Don't worry, mangled deer carcass. It's just me, a little old witch. Why didn't I see it before? These woods are jam-packed with spider clowns, waiting to jump out and force anal sex on me. What have I done? What's gonna happen to my tight, spotless pink asshole? And if the spider clowns don't get me, the Sam Squanches will. This is prime Sam Squanch country. And this is the time of year when all their orifices erupt with foul Squatch essence, which then settles on its surroundings, turning whatever it touches into Squanchlings. It's the miracle of life, as deadly as it is beautiful. And if you are among the brave few who would seek out a shapely Lady Squanch in order to indulge in the ultimate romance. Use this mating call. I don't know if that's what they sound like. It's just the sound I make when I come. I figured it would do the same thing. Then, of course, you seize her by her thick, meaty haunches. Perform the ancient mounting procedure. Then... Do what comes naturally between a gentleman and a forest-dwelling hominid. Then, in about nine months, she gives birth, and if I was you, I would dip sometime before then, although she's going to have a hell of a time dating as a single mother. But yeah, squanches. They're out there. And they're horny. So the threats as I see them, besides the squanches, of course, are the skinwalkers and the spider clowns. There could be as many as a thousand even 10,000 spider clowns out there, and really, one is too many. Do you want more than zero spider clowns? I don't. What's wrong with you? That leaves the skinwalkers. Perhaps the scariest of them all, because of course, as the name implies, they have skin, and they walk. And that could be any of us! I remember the last time I had an encounter with skinwalkers, like it was yesterday. I was only eight years old on a camping trip with Uncle Randy. And when it got dark, 
we had to, of course, get naked and huddle together because you have to stay warm in order to keep the skinwalkers away. But uh, I think one got inside and, like, attached itself to me or something. And the next morning, when I took a shit, this skinwalker ectoplasmic essence came out of my body. Of course, as is the standard for identifying what kind of skinwalker you're dealing with, you, you taste the uh, ectoplasmic essence, you sample it. And this time it had a sort of cloudy, milky texture to it. And it smelled lightly of, of hazelnuts. It was warm too. Uh, when uh, you see some of the skinwalkers got into the tent and entered my mouth as well. Based on my direct experience, skinwalkers tend to enter the human body through one of two main openings. And then of course after they enter, they immediately leave, and then they enter and they leave, and they enter and they leave, and they enter and they leave faster and faster. It's a terrifying process, let me tell you. I'll, I'll just never forget it. It was, it was like this, uh, this force that was just pushing and just spreading my butt cheeks apart. It's like nothing I'd ever felt before. It felt so real, like it was really happening. It had to be. I've felt the evidence. I've, I've tasted the evidence. They're out there. And they're coming tonight. Are you man enough to cook tasty ramen treats 200 feet from a main road? Well, are you? Are you man enough to eat hot and spicy ramen con limon? Can you handle it? Well, can you? Are you man enough to be a gentle father to your baby boy? To your little baby boy. Well, are you? A child. Such a big responsibility. I mean, you, you think you're just having fun, experimenting with your young, sexy body, and you have this, this moment, this perfect golden moment with a beautiful lady squanch. And now you're a father. That's why I told you to dip at month eight, seven, earlier if you lie to her about how human calendars work. Or maybe don't. Maybe you're ready for responsibility. Maybe hang on to that crazy train for a while and see where it takes you. Then, if humans and Sasquatches continue to intermarry, in time our differences will be forgotten. Fuck the genetically modified cat girls. We should all get government-sponsored Sam Squanch GFs. Of course, since it was my idea, I feel I should get the first pick. Uh, choose the comeliest squanch maiden for myself. What's the first thing I would do with my government-issued squanch waifu? Uh, well, actually the first thing would be to shave her face, and then I'd try to style the remaining fur around it so she could be kawaii. I'd be all like, Oh, Squanch-chan, you make my heart go doki-doki, doshio. And she'd be all, Arrgh! Nature, as beauty as it is deadly full. My GPS couldn't uh, find the name of this road. It would only give me latitude and longitude. And I've been looking at them, and from what I can tell, according to math, they're both numbers. And that would put me somewhere around Earth. Night will fall soon. Better drink my own piss. I mean, I've been lost for like four minutes, but listen, you gotta try piss. It's better than you would think. I only happen to know what it tastes like because at various points, through my supernatural encounter, the skinwalker peed in my mouth. They are really into that. It's got to be a ritual of their people or something. <clears throat> Maybe it wasn't that doctor's thumb. 
We're going to unravel the conspiracy together, bros. Conspiracy. That reminds me. Is it possible that... Could Epstein be related to all this somehow? Of course. The final puzzle piece falls into place. That temple on his island... It was to skinwalkers. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. No way can you tell me that the Clintons were not involved. It's got their fingerprints all over it. The signs were everywhere. We just had to learn how to see. Bill Clinton, of course. He was the president of the same government that gave us our squanch GFs. Bill is a reptilian. Hillary, obvious big time reptilian. Newt Gingrich, the queen, the everybody. Everybody's a reptilian. Except uh, the Oni NG crew. I like those guys. For today they live. That deer's ghost had better not come haunt me tonight. All shaking its hips to and fro sensually, but not saying that you have permission to fuck it. That's how it gets you. Hashtag me too. Do you lose your job? You lose everything. Easy as that. It's a fucking nationwide epidemic is what it is. It's what that protest was about that I retweeted yesterday. You're like, uh, no more sexy deer. We don't want them coming here. Remember? I know I'm tired of it. I've had it out to here. I'm just joking, I don't rape deer. But making one believe that you're going to, and then chasing it, that's a fun day out the whole family can enjoy. And it's a great workout. Of course, deer science still hasn't come far enough to where we can communicate with them directly. But if you just wear a t-shirt that says, if I catch you, I'm gonna fuck you, they seem to get the idea. We need a director's cut of Bambi. Because what they didn't show you was Bambi fucking leaning down to one of his little woodland friends and snacking on him. They eat birds. I have seen a deer eat a bird. I cried so hard that I puked. Not that I need much encouragement to puke. I mean, how else do you think I maintain this girlish figure? My quest continues. To find a precious, squanched turd. I shall have to taste it to be sure. There should be delicate notes of cinnamon. Our leading squanch scientists tell us that the squanched turd can be made into a cure for gender fluidity. And it makes it vanish as though it never existed at all. But of course, who would eat it? Except maybe Chris Chan if we told him that it would make Rose too real. I don't want him to have the cure though. I like him how he is. It's funny. I wonder if Chris Chan would try to fuck a Sam Squanch if we put it in an anime wig and a sailor outfit. My brain says no, but my heart says yes. I mean, I don't even need it to be wearing the outfit. The wig can stay though. Do lady Sam Squanches have titties? I, I would assume so, they're mammals, right? The question is, are the titties up on their chest like humans? Or are they like other animals and they have like six titties down in the abdominal area? This is important because if it's the second one, I can do three titty fucks at once. Government issued Sam Squanch GFs. How do I even do it? You know, actually, if I have seen further, it is because I have stood upon the shoulders of giants. Oh my god, it's a Sam Squanch pube. That's the only thing it could be. Sam Squanch turds are pretty powerful, but Squanch pubes grant wishes. Oh, except Half-Life 3. Yeah, I thought it was really weird that would be in the lettering of a contract for an ancient ritual, but there it was, no Half-Life 3. All this time, it was staring me right in the face. I am the Sam Squanch. No, John, you are the demons. And then John was a zombie! No, oh, did I spook you? Well, you know, it can be fun to scare ourselves from time to time. And really, who's to say that fear and pain aren't just as valid of modes of being as love and pleasure? You know, uh, my car turns into a bed. I thought this was just like a drainage pipe or something, but when I turn on the flashlight, it goes for a long ways and there's water. 
So, I'm going to go ahead and say that shit is jam-packed with spider clowns. Wall to wall. What if we kissed in the spider clown fortress? Just kidding. Unless... If this is the last video on this phone, this is probably what they found after I got yanked in there by spider clowns. It'll be all like cracked and fucked up and have blood on it. Pennywise, I know you're in there. There were no peanuts, Pennywise. You promised me peanuts and popcorn. There was popcorn, but there was no peanuts. Ooh, Pennywise is a coward. He doesn't have what it takes to face me in a no-holds-barred cage match. Rage in the cage. Ooh, yeah. That's right, bitch. You just got clown blasted. I got clown blasted once. Somehow, the fact that it was all rainbow colored made it less traumatic. As if to say, look, look at all the colors. This is a happy time. It's not a scary time. Stop crying. You know, their testicles are red shiny spheres, right? It's made out of the same stuff as their nose. Oh, and they can honk them. Sometimes, late at night, I still hear the honking. I mean, I'm not trying to generalize. I'm sure there are good spider clowns, but have you seen the figures? 13% of spider clowns commit 50% of all violent rapes. And then uh, the other 50% is the skinwalkers. You know, between the two, they've got that market pretty tied up. Yeah, I guess I did generalize. I could have said, maybe... A spider clown is fixing to rape my tender, unassuming asshole. Uh, I'll I'll do better and be better going forward, and everybody's gonna take a sensitivity class. In fact, you know what? Considering the bloody history of European colonial violence, maybe those spider clowns deserve a little reparations. All right, I'm gonna make a protective barrier. I'm consecrating this ground. This is real Catholicism. No spider clowns can ever enter here. But they'll always be in my heart. Oh no, bro. I'm starting to get the motherfucking hungies. Oh, there's the shit bucket. Nothing in it yet because I'm even a failure at shitting. Mm, tasty treats for my tom tom. They don't go in my bum bum. Unless two grown ups do it for fun, then it is okay. I'm fiddly I fiddly I a. I finally get to try out this uh, electric water boiling thermos. Still don't know about this hot and spicy ramen. Can you handle it? The only thing I can't handle is love. So, the list of things to be scared of out here now goes uh, spider clowns, uh, skinwalkers, Sam Squanches, and dying alone and unloved. This bad boy will keep the skinwalkers at bay. But I don't think it's the right tool for this job. There comes a time in every man's life when he can no longer simply laser all of his problems away. School bullies, laser. Ex-wife, laser. Child support, laser. Police, laser. Oh, of course, it's all so easy. Somewhere along the way, I forgot to grow. Oh, Lord. It's making a weird noise. Can you hear this? Oh, I just stopped. What is it doing? I hope this doesn't tip over and spill boiling water all over my wiener. Optimistically, I'm gonna need that again. If there was a business called Squanches with three Z's, would it be like a Sam Squanch strip club or a Squanch uh, hotel? Cause the three Z's, you know, that, that's where they sleep. No sleep happens in a strip club. Just a special hug that only mommies and daddies can do. And it should always be the same kids, mommy and daddy, I found out recently. I've seen a couple of squirrels so far, not even really doing anything, just hanging back and watching me. I'll get you, you little fucking tree goblins. I know where you live. Trees. It's important to remember that your standard squirrel is essentially just a slightly smaller Harrier Viet Cong. Certainly, in retrospect, I should not have coined the word reparations. And that's not reflective of who I am. Uh, going forward, I'm going to be better. I'm going to do better. 
Everybody on the team is taking sensitivity training. The mystery of these woods grows ever deeper. For example, true story, uh, I just went for piss earlier and noticed that there was a little bit of dried blood on the end of my dick. Since when is that there? There's blood on my wiener. I don't remember where it's from. There's blood on my wiener. I'm sure this time that it's not come. There's blood on my wiener. I don't remember what I've done. I should probably stop drinking the excess and regain control of my life. Uh, how is it not done yet? Blue Freak streaks by Sonic the Hedgehog Too gay for the naked eye Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic, he's really lewd Sonic, he's got some super boobs Sonic, he is the gayest thing alive He is the gayest thing alive Look out, his dick is blue Sonic the Hedgehog, don't blink or he'll rape you. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic, he's a hairy Jew. Sonic, he's coming after you. A lot of people don't know that Sonic 3 and Knuckles takes place on Epstein Island. Finally. You ever see those uh, ASMR speedruns? Where they're just like frantically whispering as fast as they can, like trying to be the most relaxing. <laughs> ah, wild. Now we add the boiling water to the ramen. Then the hot chili sauce packet as the Native Americans taught the pilgrims at the first Thanksgiving. Witness my bounty. I am now a true outdoor master. You know what? I could handle it. All right, I'm gonna be serious for about 10 seconds. This is where the car undergoes a remarkable transformation. Front seat slid all the way forward and leaned forward as well. Back seat cushions removed. Back seats folded down. Cushions placed. Electric blanket. Activated. Now I've got this cozy little fort comforting shell of technology wrapped around me what's comfy are all the different hisses and whirs of the various fans and pumps responsible for life support and circulating air throughout the cabin it's like I imagine how sleeping on the ISS must be thus ends an eventful day of walking around in the woods talking shit Nothing was learned. In fact, I feel dumber. Jesus, it gets so fucking dark out here. Not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little scared. I mean, this car is locked up tight, so... If the Skinwalker does manage to get in here somehow and ravage my delectable boy pussy... Frankly, he earned it. What would I do... If skinwalkers really got in here, I would probably shit my pants. Fill my Pokemon pajama bottoms up to the brim with terror turds. Then I'd eat it to eliminate the evidence. The perfect crime. Shh, 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 shut the fuck up. Did you hear that? I'm awake, it's 8.48 in the morning. I've converted my car back into a car. Uh, my hair has done this, it turns into Conan O'Brien here while I sleep, so I'm gonna wash that later. But first, cooking me up some breakfast of uh, potato curry. Yes, that's an oven in a car. This is exactly the sort of decadence that terrorists hate us for. Mm, looks like baby vomit, but that smells really good. Maybe it's just being out in the woods early in the morning and my body is just urging me to eat something. Smells delicious though. That worked really well. Um, 
Or at least that's my perception. They both take about 50 minutes to fully cook something. Or I mean to boil water in the case of the thermos. I don't know. I guess it's just because there's an additional step in food preparation when you are using boiling water. Whereas I just stick the food in this thing, plug it in, I set a timer on my watch for 50 minutes to an hour, and then when I come back, it's cooked. Now for my shower scene. You know, I, th I was worried that it was going to be uncomfortable using cold water, but it's so warm out here that I want it to be cold. This is actually pretty nice. This thing does not fit through there, though. The opening's just barely too small. It seems like a design flaw. They could have put the pump in the handle. Then you'd have the button to turn it on and off on the handle as well. Well, the battery's out. It did not last three days. It lasted about 20 hours. Then again, I also used it to run my electric blanket and cook my breakfast. So your mileage may vary. Before I leave, it's time to explore nature as God intended. Don't you dare lose your guard. New horizons to explore. Na 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 how they fit the tiger on the carpet. Robin Williams Thus concludes Wilderness Adventure 2019. Didn't see a single lady squanch, or even male squanches for that matter. Uh, didn't see a single skinwalker or spider clown. I went and took a shit this morning and there was no ectoplasmic residue. So I've got to ask, am I just not sexy anymore? Is that it? Used to be I'd go camping and take a shit the next morning and at least a liter would pour out of there. I guess I'm just getting older, but the other thing is, I mean, skinwalkers and spider clowns have all kinds of options these days and they're desensitized by porn and nobody's talking about this. There's a bunch of shit I didn't even use. Like the backup water boiler kit. Or the solar panels. I never even got the solar panels out. Man, I made this a lot more fucking complicated than it needed to be. That's it for this trip. I'm going to cut it short because I have to pack for the road trip to Minnesota, which begins tomorrow. Goodbye, nature. Just because I pissed on you doesn't mean I don't love you. I'm going to miss you most of all, mangled deer carcass.